All right, let's take a look at the examples for corresponding angles. Example A says, if A is parallel to B, so if this line here, oh, let's get an actual pen that works, how's that? Uh, if this line here is parallel to this line here, which pairs of angles are congruent according to the corresponding angles postulate? And the corresponding angles postulate, remember, tells us that if two lines are parallel and crossed by a transversal, then any pairs of angles that are in the same position are going to be corresponding and therefore equal. So in this case, we have our top angle, which is 1, and our other top angle, which is 5. So we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 5. And we know that our right-hand angles, 2 and 6, are also going to be equal. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. The bottom angles are 4 and 8, so angles 4 equals angle 8. And finally, the left-hand angles, 3 and 7. Angle 3 equals angle 7. And that's it. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says, if the measure of angle 2 is 76 degrees, so we got this angle over here, is 76 degrees, what is the measure of angle 6? Well, we know here that line L and line M are parallel because we have our little marker here. And if they're parallel and crossed by a transversal, then corresponding angles are going to be equal. Since 2 and 6 are both upper right-hand angles, they're both going to be 76 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 6, and they're both equal to 76 degrees. All right, let's take a look at C. Angle, or example C says, if the measure of angle 8 is 110, so that's this one down here, 100, oops, 110 degrees, and the measure of angle 4 is 110 degrees. My lines keep wanting to cross over each other there, don't they? Then what do we know about lines L and M? Well, L and M, actually we know about lines L and M anyway because they're marked that way. But L and M would be parallel because of the reverse of the, the converse of the corresponding angles postulate. Remember, it tells us that if two parallel lines are crossed by a transversal, then corresponding angles are equal. And it also tells us that if two lines crossed by a transversal have corresponding angles that are equal, the two lines must be parallel. So we know that line L and line M are parallel. Line L is parallel to line M. There we go.